think everybody's talking about this today, not the impeachment, not right. the State of the <laughs> Union, but the weather, man, it's the cold. Wet, not only was it cold, but windy. I yeah. think in some areas it was windier yeah. uh, than Lustry. yesterday. Yeah, so we're going to continue to see a lot of this cold weather, and that's because we still have... We have two pressure gradients that was moving in. So we had the low pressure system moving away, and then we had high pressure also starting to scoot in. So two of the pressure gradients together caused these very gusty winds overnight. And then some of the areas that did not see any wind, wow, it was cold. We had temperatures below, uh, below freezing this morning. So we're going to continue to see a lot more of the very cold conditions as we head into the overnight hours. But overall today, temperatures staying below average before things begin to warm up. Live look right now. This is our Santa Monica Pier camera. We have 60 degrees for downtown LA. 54 for the beaches, 57 for the valleys, upper 50s for Orange County, still very gusty in the Inland Empire at 54 degrees, and for the mountains right now, temperatures below average at or below freezing, that is, at 23 degrees. All right, so here's a look at where those winds are really picking up right now. We have those winds uh, really hitting areas like Camarillo at 24 miles per hour. These are sustained winds, not even the gusts. We have breezy conditions going through Van Nuys, so a lot of the wind chills making it feel a lot colder than what the thermometer is reading. A little bit more calm in Pasadena, but that wasn't the case overnight. And then you can see we have some more of those winds really picking up through Irvine, and then we have some lighter winds through Laguna Beach, and then we have some very strong winds going through the Inland Empire, the San Bernardino at 30 miles per hour and then up in the mountains at about 13 Joshua Tree at 20. So the wind advisory should continue until 3 p.m. for some areas here in Southern California, while other wind advisory locations will stay until early tomorrow morning. So we could still see gusts anywhere from 45 to about 50 to 60 miles per hour. And then overnight, we're again, we're looking at those temperatures hovering closer to freezing or below freezing. And these are the areas. The Antelope Valley, the Victor Valley area, we're looking at a hard freeze warning where temperatures could go back down into the teens again tonight. And then for areas like the Santa Clarita and the San Fernando Valley, including Simi Valley, and then also Moore Park. Uh, we could see temperatures again just slightly below freezing. And then for the Inland Empire, looking at temperatures again anywhere from about 25 to about 32 degrees. So sunny, cool, and windy today, but again, another round of very cold conditions overnight. And then we're actually looking at a gradual warm up by the end of the week. So here's a look at our wind gusts. The winds begin to relax in some areas as we head into the evening. And then we begin to see some more of those winds really picking up in areas like the high deserts. Apple Valley looking at 31 mile per hour gusts as we head into the overnight hours and then by tomorrow morning the winds actually begin to relax a little bit more that's when a lot of our wind advisories expire so that means from tomorrow on we're looking at those temperatures gradually warming up back to the 60s and 70s by Friday and Saturday. Then the clouds begin to fill in on Sunday because there is another storm that drops closer to us and that could also bring us some showers as we head into late Sunday into Monday, Sandy. So a mix of everything the next seven days. 